What's going on guys, it's Kyle Jars here, back with another video. Look guys, Fusion 360 just had a really major update with the texting tools inside of the sketch mode. Now, I do want to show you guys some of the new features and I want to point out a couple of cons that it has as well so you guys are just aware of it. So before you start modeling things and going about, let's just test this out. So let's go to create, let's choose our, uh, our plane. Now let's use a circle. So we have our circle here. Let's do a spline. And let's do like a rectangular square shape. Now to use the sketch on path or text on path, hit the create drop down, go to text. And where it says type, select text on path. And for the path, just select the, the path you want. So I'll use this circular here. Now really quick, inside this box here, we can just put something like um, Fusion 360 new update. And really quick, you see that the text is following the path inside of this circumference. Now, we have the same basic options we had before. We can have it in bold, italic. You can change the font. <clears throat> now, if you go to placement, if you select this option here, place text between path, it'll actually change it to the outside area. So that's pretty cool. That's something that's uh, never been thought of inside of Fusion 360. And if you do fit to path, it'll evenly space out the text between the path. So it'll cover the whole area. And this is insane. <laughs> also, if you notice the text is uh, flipped a certain direction, you can change it here. So change it to horizontal. You can change it to vertical as well. So now you see it says Fusion 360 new update and also guys if you hit okay to finalize this let's say we can make it a little bit bigger you want to make it bigger yeah let's make it a little bit bigger all right guys so now that that's finalized you can also adjust your uh, sketch and the text follows this is insane now let's try it with the spline and let's see how that fares. So let's go back to text, text on a path, let's select our path. We got our spline here. So I'll just type in Fusion 360 on a spline. Now, we'll make this bold so we can see this a bit better. Fit the path. We don't need to flip anything because it's actually following the spline perfectly. But now let's hit OK and let's adjust the spline. Let's play with this. And really quick, you can see how powerful <laughs> this new update is. It follows it. This is groundbreaking stuff, guys. <laughs> All right, so those are the pros. So you see the power that you can uh, obtain with using this. Now let's try the square shape here. Create text. And it's already on a path, so we'll select. Let's see. Let me cancel this. Text on a path. And really quick, you can see our options. We can only choose one edge of this. That's it. So if I were to choose this area in the start, putting stuff really quick, you can see it only follows this path. I know some of you guys are thinking, well, maybe if you just round off the edges. So if we hit fill it and we start to round these off, right? Let's hit okay. Now let's go back to create text, text on path. And if I select my path, it still gives me the same options. Well, now I can choose the rounded edges. So let's try using the same line again. And let's enter some text. 
and you see it still veers off the path. Let's it cancel. Let's repeat that text a path. We'll choose this rounded area and let's see how this fares. No. And that's the cons, guys. <laughs> it just continues on the same path, but it doesn't follow the actual um, orchestrated path. So hopefully this video was somewhat useful to you guys and you guys enjoyed this new update. I know I will, and just expect more tutorials, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.